Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm doing a guide on Myth on Island. Now, Myth on Island is a monster taming roguelike game that just came out about uh, over a week ago, and it's still in early access, sure, but it is 85% done, according to the developer Visionstead Studio. So let's just get straight into it. First off, the monsters are called Mython, hence the Mython Island. Now, what I'm going to go over first is the elements. One of the most important parts of the game, if you don't get your super effective, not effective, all that stuff in order, you are going to keep losing miserably. So make sure that you are, you know, looking and paying attention to the matchups when you're playing. So the first one is fire, grass, water, then you have air, earth, void, and finally you have basic, lunar, and electric. Now before I go any further, I must note that you cannot get any void mython, you cannot get any basic mython. There are void mython, but you battle against them, and there are no basic mython. You can also go and look at the element matchup list which you should see on the screen right now and I'm going to have a link to it in the description below as you can see there is a lot to this now for the legend if it is a check mark and it's going from attacking that means okay suppose you see a check mark well then go to the left and go to that check mark now go up right well the top that's on the left if it attacks the top, uh, the top that you saw up top, then that's super effective. The X is do the same thing. That's going to be not effective. And if you see the just kind of neutral sign, the hyphen, yeah, well, that's just regular damage. It's pretty easy to figure out, I think. But I had to make a graphic to make it a little bit easier for people. As I know, personally, it can be difficult to keep up with it, uh, the matchups. And moving on, what I need to say is pay attention to the stats of your Mython. You need to pay attention which one's a good Aether attacker, which one's a good uh, physical, because Aether is pretty much a special. It has like Aether attack, Aether special. You need to pay attention to all of these things so that you know which one is which, which one has a higher speed, etc., etc. Go ahead and pay attention to the stats. Now, I did ask the dev of Mython Island, you know, are the stats the same for Mython, you know, if they're like level 10 or whatever. Suppose you have Faux Peep, which is a Mython, a starter Mython, and he's level 10. You know, if I play three, four times and I take, you know, and I level him up to level 10, is he going to have the same stats each time? And he said, you know, the base stats are static. Of course, they'll vary between Mython, but for that Mython, that particular Mython, it's going to be the same base stats over and over. And I also asked, uh, you know, well, when they level up, to what extent does RNG, uh, you know, affect the stat boosts? And the dev said the status development will be the same each time on a per Mython basis. So it's not any RNG when it comes to which stat gets boosted when it goes to a certain level. Of course, for each Mython, it's going to be different, but this is also helpful knowing because you can then know which Mython is a good, say, uh, you know, physical attacker or an ether attacker, things like that. And you don't have to change and realize, oh man, in this playthrough, he's a good ether attacker or anything. It is the same across, so it reduces RNG, which is uh, nice. Also, I want to point out that the leveling is universal. So if one levels up, the next levels up. There's really not much merit to battling just for leveling up because the mython will that you're facing will also increase in level while you are increasing across the board. Now, moving on, you also have different types of attacks. The first being physical, next being ether, support, and strike. Now, physical is it draws from the physical attack. As you can guess, ether, you know, comes from the ether attack. But support, it can do things like weaken somebody. You know, it may decrease their ether defense and their physical defense for three turns by 10% or I think maybe 10%, maybe 20%. There's also some that will also apply effects 
like I think burn now personally I cannot figure out how to use these stat changes to my advantage because these are four to five move uh, battles and by the time I use a stat change it doesn't change it enough and I have lost HP unless the AI had done something stupid and I've lost not only HP but I've lost an opportunity to inflict damage to the opposing mython and you get behind especially if you're tra trading pretty evenly so I've not found a way to use these stat changes at all honestly now you will have ways and do have ways in between events and during battles to heal your mython but if you come across any basic aid capsules or basic HP capsules or basic aid and basic AP capsules then use them between the events because they only heal by 10% and that is a very small amount. Yeah, a regular attack will do more than 10%. Now I did forget one other thing in the attacks. I mentioned strike. Well strike is a separate button menu where you do a low amount of damage for a ba it's a basic attack that does a low amount of damage for no AP. So that's an option if you run out of AP or they just have a little bit more HP and you want to knock them down without wasting any AP. Now going back to what I was talking about with the basic capsules, use them in between events. So you just need to spam them in between events. Don't waste them. You're, you're going to hurt yourself if you use them during battle most likely. Only in specific uh, niche circumstances will they help. Now there are, like I said, two modes and there will be three modes. The first one being story mode. And my advice for story mode is first, uh, first and foremost would be Focus on increasing your party size to the max, which the max party size is four. You can only have four. Now, if you have four Mython and you want to catch another one, or rather bond with another one, that's the mechanic. You don't catch it, but you bond with the Mython using the Mythosphere. Then go ahead and, you know, bond with that uh, Mython that you want. And then it will ask if you want to replace a Mython in your party. So do you want to pretty much leave one behind and take this new one? You can answer yes or no, etc. It's up to you, but that's my number one advice when it comes to playing story mode. Increase your party size to the max. You need it. In story mode, when you get done with an event, there are different paths that you can take. One to three pop up, and here are uh, what, what the things that can pop up, which is a fateful encounter, a place of power, a question mark, question mark, question mark, and Capitadon shop. I'm going to start off with the Fateful Encounter, and with the Fateful Encounter, you can battle a Mython and bond with it. You can gain, once you defeat it, or bond with it, you can get Mulu, which is money, and you can also possibly get items, generally basic uh, aid or basic AP capsules, things like that. But you got to remember, this is universal leveling, so there's no benefit in leveling up, really. In fact, evolution is completely... Uh, I don't know, detached from leveling up. You just can evolve from, that, you know, you don't have to level up at all. You just can evolve immediately. And uh, suppose you, you know, I'm going to go on to the next area because the next area is pretty relevant considering it talks about, you know, well, that's the place you can evolve. So the next place that you can go to besides Faithful Encounter when the options come up is Place of Power. Now there, you're going to meet a, meet, uh, meet a Mython that I do not know the name of, and the you're going to have about four options. The first one is evolving. The next one is getting a scroll, a, which is a move scroll, which move scrolls give you an attack that you can use one time, and then the scroll is used up. You can also increase a random stat of one of your Mython, and you can fully heal one of your Mython as well. My advice is focus on evolving because evolving heals 100% and it boosts your stats so you don't have to worry about, there's no reason, if you can evolve a mython and uh, it needs to be healed, there's no reason to heal it, evolve it. There's also no reason to do a random stat increase if it can evolve or evolve. So focus on evolving when you go to a place of power first. The second thing you can do is, let's say you have no counters to a top, a certain top that maybe, you know, maybe you don't have a counter to fire. Well, then you need to look at the scrolls in the list to see if you can find a move that is of a top that is super effective against a top that you're weak against or have no counter to. Now, the third one is going to be the random stat increase. And I would say, 
only focus on this if you're fully evolved, you don't need or want a move scroll, and you're healed well enough, you know, according to your judgment. Uh, beyond that, don't use random stat increase. Now, the last one is going to be heals, which is just straight up, just heal if you need to heal. It's pretty straightforward. The next area or event that you can pick is Capitadon Shop, which is a Mython, Capitadon. And he will sell you about, you know, uh, capsules, sometimes held items, things like that. Uh, sometimes it seems pretty random, but he generally always has some kind of basic aid, AP capsules. Now, my advice is to stock up on basic uh, capsules and the regen capsules, because the regen capsules heals you for 10% over 3 turns in a battle that's a 30 percent heal for only 200 mulu which is cheaper than a basic aid capsule which will heal you for 10 percent for 300 mulu so it's really uh useful and with basic you can always just spam that stuff in between battles they're cheap and you don't have to worry you know maybe you only need to heal a little bit on this one that's fine you can use a basic aid capsule now there are other capsules super capsules and i would advise you to only use them or almost only use them in battle because if you use them outside of battle and you leave yourself with basic capsules then you hurt yourself now sometimes i have used super capsules outside of battle but it's because someone's super low and i don't have the basic aid or ap capsules to make up for it i don't i can't just keep spamming them till i get to where i want so i use a super capsule it's not the optimal way to use them but sometimes that is the way you must use them now when you get up into higher levels the aid capsules become less relevant you know just less important because you have so much ap that even when you're using 12 ap cost moves it's not really hurting you at all you know you can heal or you can use a super capsule or it's not a big deal so the higher level you get the less important the ap capsules become now they also or capitadone also show, uh, sells held items such as a physical shield ether shield uh i think there's a grass shield there's an all-out defense shield no, not shield, but gem. And what I would suggest is specialize. So if you have high defense but low attack, don't get a high, like I, w I wouldn't go for a higher attack. I would not go for a, like a power gem or something. I would go for a defense or an all out defense gem because it specializes you further into what you're already good at instead of kind of, kind of raising a not so good stat up. Now, moving on to some more specific things, in story mode, uh, which actually in story mode or survival mode right now, which is kind of like story mode, but I'll go ahead and uh, explain survival mode to you, what's happening right now. It's almost the same as story mode with the events that you go through, but you're given four mython that, uh, to start with, that are random, and the whole goal is to get to the end without catching or rather bonding with more mython so it's just use those and don't die now in both of those settings or not settings but rather modes lunar is by far the strongest type okay i'm not kidding you so it's uh most types or all types except for i'm, I'm don't consider void in this but all types are not effective against either two or three types no one has one so it's either two or three types and lunar ha is only not effective against two types it's only weak to two types which is the lowest you can get besides void which again ignore void because you can't get a void mython and it's also super effective against void now void which like i said is unobtainable it's difficult. Void Mython are difficult to deal with because they almost, almost all of them have high HP. They also resist four types, which is the highest amount of types resisted by any type. And they're only weak to one type, which be Lunar. So considering these are Void Monsters, or for rather Void Mython, are Boss Mython, Lunar is super valuable, which is, I'm guessing, why the developer let uh once you go into story mode you pick out your starter and the first 
mython you face always is astrium which is a lunar type and i'm guessing that is why he put it that way because lunar is by far the strongest type i'm going to be honest it's make sure you have a lunar mython on your team just for void alone if you don't then you need to make sure you get a scroll like mulu rain which is a lunar type uh, move scroll now uh, again mython island is only in early access but that also means that there's a lot more content to come and the developer vision stead studio said that he doesn't want this to be in early access for more than six months and he's constantly updating it he's super super responsive to feedback he wants to put up that last mode and then he wants to improve the survival mode he wants to add many more items he wants to add many more moves he wants to add more mython so there's still more to come and it's a fantastic game i only have one more piece of advice and that would be go buy the game if you've not already or at least wish list it for when it becomes full access now if this God has been valuable to you at all. I would greatly appreciate you liking it so it can appear in more people's uh, recommended so it can help them as well. Also, if you like this content, I might be doing more stuff like it. I'll definitely have more Mython, con uh, Mython Island content coming out. So go ahead and subscribe and share if you really found this valuable. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and retro on.